Jake Schaefer along with Jasmine Holmes and Anriel Howard. As usual, we'll start with an opening statement from Coach. Just raise your hand. We don't have a mic today, so we'll call on you. Appreciate y'all being here today. Um, we'll uh, get ready to go to College Station on Sunday and play a really good um, Texas A&M team. Coach is, as he always has in his career, doing a great job with that group and that team. They're playing extremely well. Playing as well probably as anybody in the league right now, and uh, I'm sure we'll have a have our hands full on Sunday. I think they've got bring a kid today to the game day, and so you get you can bring four kids up to four kids for free with uh, one paying adult. So I'm sure it'll be a packed house, a great environment, and uh, so we'll we'll have to we'll have to see how we respond in these situations. When you have a game like last night, it's it's how you respond that defines you, and uh, we'll find out a little bit about our, uh, a little bit about our team uh, today in film and practice, and consequently on Sunday when we play. So I'm anxious to I'm anxious to see what it reveals. Start with Robbie. Andrew, I'll, I'll go ahead and get this question out of the way. What What are you feeling about going back to, to College Station? I know you you know Coach Boyer well, and some of those players also. What do you feel like that's gonna be like going back there at the place you spent the last three years and in a different uniform this time. Right. Um, well, I'm excited. Um, I'm, I'm very appreciative of um, what A&M did for me the three years that I was there. You know, I met a lot of great people, um, a lot of great relationships that I still have. Um, so <clears throat> just being there it was a great opportunity. Um, but I'm excited to go back to play. And once we are on the court, there'll be no more to sign. Right. Coach, sort of a similar question. You had a first game back at Texas A&M when your first year here at Mississippi State. Have you shared anything with Ariel about how to manage your emotions in that kind of situation? Not, not yet. We really haven't uh, seen each other today um, since the game last night. So we'll have plenty of time between now and when we play at 1 o'clock on Sunday to, to make sure we're channeling our energy in the correct way. Uh, she's a little different. She's got a little more control than I did when I went back there with that team that second year. It was. Uh, it was, um, you know, those first two games we had with them. First one here was 88-33, and the next one there was 79-35. So it was, it was a, a couple of rough ones uh, starting, but uh, you know we we managed to to fight back and and uh, and uh, kind of even things up a little bit. So, but she'll have a little more control than I did. Robbie, coach, you lost a huge piece, probably one of the greatest players you've had here in Victoria in that four spot last year. She was, a, she really made a difference. And that was a huge hole that was left behind. Just being able to land a player like Anriel, um, at, you know, after your recruiting class, things like that, to, to help step in and fill that board a little bit. What has that meant to the first part of this season to get you to this point? And you know, obviously her productions has, uh, has, has shown What's that meant to get a player like that in? How effective do you feel like she's been in that spot? Yeah, her, you know, the production has been very similar. Um, I think Victoria averaged 20. She's getting uh, almost 16 right now. The field goal percentage is very similar this time last year. Rebounds, she gets a few more rebounds. Uh, but, um, you know, it, 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 obviously it makes everybody around her and around on our team better when you have – when you have someone like Amriel at that position that can do the things she can do. And, um, you know, last night's a great example. Offensively, we, we probably struggled a little bit when she was out. And, uh, um, and so I, I think it, you know, for us, we were, it, we were very fortunate to get her. And, uh, you know, she's, she came here with a purpose and a reason. And, um, you know, so far I think we've, uh, we're headed in the in the right direction to fulfill that that uh, those goals that she had when she came here. So, you know, we last night wasn't good, y'all, but you know what? Our goals are still in front of us. Uh, we can still win an SEC championship. We can still win, a, um, you know, many many games in front of us. So we we just uh, you know we got to get back to work. Well, Vic, when you uh, went back and watched the film from last night's game, was there anything that stood out to you after you, you did, maybe you didn't see during the actual game? 
Yeah, you know, nothing that I didn't see live and in color. I mean, it was, you know, the film doesn't lie. That's the one thing about film. And, uh, you know, kids will be able to watch today and see that. You know, the thing about last night, we, we, we consciously made some decisions that were bad all night long. And uh, uh, for whatever reason, and, and you, I've, I've sat in here, y'all, all year and talked to y'all about trying to get this team all on the, to play well at the, on the same night. Most nights that hadn't happened. Most nights it's been two or three people that have played well. In the Tennessee game, we had four people that played pretty well. Um, but the challenge is to get everyone to play well. Last night, we had four, we had four players shoot 36% or less. Three for 11, four for 11, five for 13, one for four. That was in our starting lineup. Well, that's that's a recipe for a loss, and uh, it's a miracle we were in the game as long as we were, to be honest. So, and then that doesn't even talk about and the other thing y'all don't know is after every game I have the kids fill out a sheet, and it tells me I ask them to tell me, hey, what'd you do well? What you what did you not do well? And then what the team do well? And what the team not do? You'd be amazed at how honest they can be, even when they know they may not have played well or their teammates didn't. You, you, it, in reading those, it, it really brings into to perspective, they know. And uh, so, you know, for us, we've, it didn't look any better to answer your question. It always looks worse. Um, and, and we've got to go back to work and we've got to get better. And, and we've got to develop some toughness. You know, this team is, every team's different and uh, we're, we're not very tough right now. And, uh, you know, the question I think we posed in our staff meeting this morning is, it's February, um, is it too late to build toughness in your team, with your team? Uh, is it just this is what we have and you move on or do you try to continue to build some toughness with your team? And I think the answer is, yeah, you, you continue to, to try to instill and build toughness. It's never too late. And, um, and I think that's the piece that in toughness, y'all, and it doesn't have anything to do with being physical. Toughness, there's so many things that go into being a, a tough uh, basketball player, a tough athlete. And uh, we just, we strike out on a lot of those, those areas and we, we've got to try to fix that. I'll give you an example. Last night when Missouri huddles, man, they're tight. They're in there close. There's, you know, one of the things my staff mentioned, there can't be any air in that huddle. But that's, that's that they're tough, they're close. You know, they're, they're in there close together. There is a, there is leadership in that huddle and they are, they've got, in, but they're, they're engaged. That's just one area where, you know, you can tell that. And, and so, um, you know, we've got to be better at it. We've got, we've got to try to continue to, to develop some toughness. Right. Coach, for you, are you more troubled that your team shot under 40% or are you more troubled that Missouri shot 56% against you? Well, to answer that question, I'm more concerned about the 56. But the 56 had to do with our our um, our. We just didn't have any energy. We we played with no emotion. Well, we played with emotion, the wrong emotion, but we we had no energy. We just we didn't play hard. We 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 didn't do things defensively that we normally do. We don't. We didn't didn't, didn't deny. We didn't block out. Uh, we didn't rotate. When we did rotate, we were we didn't rotate and help the helper, and so consequently, we played a, a real bad team to play horse against, because that team's going to make shots. That's probably the worst defensive job we've done on a Missouri team since I've been here, and uh, they're really good. Robin is a tremendous coach. She's a tremendous defensive coach, and um, you know I tried to tell our team leading up to that we have got to do certain things offensively if we're going to score and uh, you know 67 is like that's what we had that's enough to win most nights for us but not when you're defending like we are and uh, you know we, we just weren't very good defensively and it's because of our, our really our, our lack of toughness.
you faced one of the top scorers in the league, and Sophie Cunningham last night. You got another one coming up Sunday, Kennedy Carter. How do you fix some of those defensive lapses before Sunday? Well, I think we'll, we'll watch plenty of film between now and then. We'll go to the floor and, and certainly try to um, work on some things that maybe we feel like we need to work on uh, from a technique standpoint. But a lot of our issues last night had to just have to do with, um, you know, in my, 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 my perspective, it's, it's energy and, and effort. And uh, for whatever reason, last night, like I said, we just, we, we couldn't get it going. And, uh, you know, I noticed it early. You know, I noticed it in shoot around, but I, I really noticed it early in the ball game. And, uh, uh, you know, we, we've, got, we've got to fix it. In, in practices, how do you build toughness? Is there something you could change as a coach? Because you, you always say that it, it starts with you, but is there something you can do to actually build toughness at this point in the year? You know, I think it, it, it's never too late to do the right thing. That makes sense. And I think, I think a lot of times as coaches, we have an opportunity with our student athletes. Now, our number one job, y'all, we got to get these young ladies ready for the real world. And, and when they go out into the real world, they better have some toughness. Because while I believe the real world is a beautiful place, uh, every now and then it can raise its ugly head. And if they're not ready for that day, then I have failed as a coach. And so that being said, there's ways to develop and build toughness, whether it's commanding them to have respect in the study hall, um, be on time, um, be dress taped and ready to go every day at a certain time, um, letting people know you, you know, you appreciate it. Be, be sure we, we, we say thank you and, and those kinds of things. But in practice, it's a way that we do things. And, and if we don't do it the right way, then there's an accountability piece. And I don't think that it's ever too late to do the right thing and it's never too late to be accountable. And I think when that becomes a way of life for all of us, then I think that's when you have a chance to be real successful. And, um, these are these are great kids, and uh, and they're just you know just like any 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 young person, it's our job to provide guidance, and uh, and, um, and and so that that's part of my job, and uh, and so um, for us, yeah, I think you we start today, we watch the film, we learn, uh, we acknowledge what we could have done better, um, and then we go out and we try to make sure that. We might get out executed some nights. We might get, you just might run out of time, as they say. But you don't ever want anybody to question what's in your breastplate, your heart. And, and uh, sometimes we can spend a lot of energy as coaches coaching people's hearts. And that's not what we tend to have to do here at Mississippi State. And that's energy and effort. And uh, you know, yesterday was Valentine's Day. That was part of my pregame speech. I'll make sure I never give that one again. Um, <laughs> But that's what we talked about, you know. You got all these kids that have these numbers by their name in recruiting. So many times, I've had, uh, you know, I've had teams, I've coached kids that they didn't have numbers by their names, but they've always had success and beaten a lot of teams that got all these kids with that are McDonald's All Americans and got these single digits by their names. Well, that's because the kids that we have, the kids up here. They got single digits by their hearts. And, and that's what's allowed us to be successful. And, um, and, and so, uh, you know, that's, that's the thing is that we got to just, we, gotta, we can't lose our identity. We have got to be that team that outworks you, out toughs you, and, um, and is resilient. And again, we'll, that's what will be defined. To, that's what will define us now is, okay, we, had, we played bad yesterday. Okay, how are we going to respond? What's our leadership going to be like? What's our accountability level going to be? Hey, I'm accountable. I'm responsible. I didn't have them ready to play last night. So it, it falls on me. We've got time for two more, Logan. Jazz, uh, after last night's game, just how eager are you to get back out there on the court and correct some of those mistakes on Sunday? Um, I just know that my team follows me. So if I'm not playing with energy, they're not either. So. I just have to 
work on that piece today and taking care of the ball differently because last night I was just terrible with the turnovers. So, I mean, I just have to work on that piece and come out with energy on Sunday. That was, that was pretty much my question. Anything else? All right. Thank you. Thank you all.